In this lesson, I'm going to take you around some of the most basic tools to help us navigate around Photoshop. So all our tools can be accessed on the left hand side on our toolbar. The most basic tool that we will use all the time is this one here, the top one called the move tool, or you can select that quickly by hitting V on your keyboard for short. You can use the move tool to move images around, to navigate and to select. So we will come back to this tool all the time. Let's have a practice using the move tool. Go up to file. We're going to place an image. So go to place embedded. I'm going to use some elements from our free design kit that is included with the course. But you'll notice that your finder from your computer will appear and you can select to where your files are. I'm going to select the peach flower and then hit place. You'll notice that a box appears around this. So to place the image, we can either double click on it, we can hit enter on our keyboard, or we can go up to the top and select this tick. When you've done that, your image will be placed onto your canvas. Then with the move tool still selected, we can move our image around our canvas to wherever we would like. Perhaps you want to see part of your design in closer detail. Over on the left hand side, you will see a small magnifying glass at the bottom. This is called the zoom tool. You can access this quickly by hitting Z on your keyboard. When you click on this, you will see the toolbar options change. So this one here with the plus sign is your zoom in tool. Just simply click on your canvas and you will zoom in. And the one with the minus will zoom you out. You can do this a lot quicker on your keyboard. So the shortcut for that is command or control and then hit the plus button as many times as you want and each time you press it you will zoom in. And to zoom out, command or control and then the minus button. So as you can see we're zoomed in, but perhaps we want to see the top of the canvas. If we were to use our move tool then we would simply just be moving our image around. So this is where we want to use something called the hand tool. Over on your toolbar you might by default see this hand tool with an arrow around. This is the rotate tool, but we want to use the hand. So right click on it and here you can select it. When you select your hand tool, then you can move around your canvas without moving any of your images. You can also use the scroll function on your mouse to do the same thing. I'm now going to show you a really useful function within Photoshop, but first I'm going to add some more elements to my design. And one more. File, place embedded, place and double click. Okay, so say you've been working on your design and you have many elements, but perhaps you made a mistake. So to undo, go up to edit, undo move. And then if you want to redo that, go up to edit and redo move. You can easily do this on your keyboard by hitting command or control and then Z. And if you press it again, it will toggle between undo and redo. Perhaps you want to go a few steps backward. So go up to edit and then step backward. And then you can keep pressing this again and again, and it will take you back each step. You can similarly go forward the same way. Edit, step forward. Now it's worth learning some of the shortcuts for these. I really like to use the step backward function. It's Alt, Command or Control, and then Z. And every time you press this, it will keep taking you a step backward. If you're not happy with what you've just done, then you can press Command or Control Z and it will redo everything that you had. A quicker way of doing this is using the History tool in our Windows panel. If you go over to the right hand side, you can see it here. If you don't see this, go up to Window and then down to History. When you click on this, you will see all the actions that you have done. You can simply click on any of the actions and it will take you to the state of where you were. If you want to go to the beginning, just hit this one at the top. Please also note that if you start working from this point on, it will undo all of these actions. So make sure you're happy with where you are starting back from again. So Photoshop has many functions and tools. I would recommend getting used to some of them and practicing them and also trying out the shortcuts. Included in this course is a free keyboard cheat sheet. So make sure to download that and give it a try.